Howdy folks, it's uh, getting to be springtime and uh, we gotta get those lawnmowers running. But there's a lot of other things too. Motorcycles, if you have an RV that's been sitting all winter, if you have a, maybe a hot rod car that's been sitting all winter, there's a lot of things that we need this for. So here it comes, yeah, here it is, there. The, <laughs> oh, the Gulu. And it's a starter jumper, but you know, I have a couple of these around uh, the shop and I've been using them and it's like, man, it is so good. And a bunch of reasons. Uh, in the old days, a lot of times we used to take a set of jumper cables, you know, and jump off a car to say start the lawnmower, even the motorcycle in some cases. And the old cars, that was kind of okay. Every once in a while, maybe you, you blew the alternator or something because the battery was totally shorted out in the, uh, in the other car or whatever it was you were jumping or the RV. And so this kind of gets away from all that, that issue. You don't need the jumper cables, you don't need anything. All you need is the Gulu, you know? And the Gulu, you can put that on and bang, you can crank whatever it is up and get it started. And chances are it will run because these things, as I have discovered, they spin that motor so fast before the gas can ignite to the ignition. This thing has already got that motor doing, you know, a thousand RPM. <laughs> it just spins, you know. So they're an excellent product. And Gulu is one of the big, great, really good brand names in this sort of thing. So that's kind of why I'm bringing this one to your attention. Not just because I also have a nice discount coupon code, which will be in the description below in case you think, you know, I should probably add that to my arsenal of tools because jumping the car these days, like I said, I have a uh, hybrid type car right now. And if you, re if you open the hood, there's no 12 volt battery. So even if you had a set of jumper cables in your hands, you'd be really a little nervous to try to even figure out, okay, how am I gonna jump something with this? I don't have a 12 volt battery system. It's an electric motor down in here with a big you know, lithium battery pack behind it and stuff. There's no simple, you know, uh, there's no easy way to do it. But also, do you really wanna put say $20,000 worth of automobile at risk over trying to jump something these days. So it's better to have something separate that you can you know, use something like this. And Gulu has a lot of features and that's really the next thing I wanna talk about. Let's go over these features. So Gulu has some of the good features that you really want in a high quality type jump starter. And just look at the steps here. Of course, this thing is fully charged at this point in theory. And number one, we just connect it to the vehicle battery, uh, watch for the green light to come on solid and then we start the engine. I mean, how easy is that? But we also have all these built-in safety protections that I like. It's got overcharge protection, overcurrent protection, short circuit protection, reverse polarity, which means you put the things on wrong, you know, protection, uh, low temperature protection and high temperature protection, over voltage protection and overload uh, protection. So it's a really well-built system and this thing is going to be quality and it's not going to, you know, mess something up on you because like I said, I, I don't want to put the car between me and say jumping the lawnmower these days because the car is so sophisticated with electronics and computers anymore, you just don't want to go there. I'd rather have something like this with the Gulu where I can just slap that on and start the engine. Let's get this thing out of the box and have a look at it. So the box, here's the box that comes in. It is heavy. Let's get this thing. Let's get this party started, as they say. Yep, more stuff to cut on. I like to just rip the box open and get it over with, but okay, let's see what we can't do. Do this polite. Ah, uh, yeah. <sighs> Come on. Oh, man. That's why. Yep, you know, and it comes in a, uh, comes in a heavy, yeah, durable case. So there we go. Wow. There we go. It comes in a nice case with a you can pack in the car or carry it with you or camping or whatever. Wherever you think you might need some emergency power. So now we'll open her up. And on one side we have this really nice heavy duty set of uh, <clears throat> yeah, nice heavy duty set of jumper cables. And I mean these are heavy. These are better than the stupid ones you get at the auto stores. <laughs> <laughs> and there's the plug that's going to plug into the unit itself. Uh, we also have a 12 volt uh, system charge here for uh, getting 12 volts off of the system if you need it. Uh, there's also a wall charger, which you know, you're gonna have to hook that up, it's USB, so you can plug this in, plug the system in, and let's get her charged up so we can really 
see what's going on here. And we got a user manual. That's kind of scary, but I, you know, after reading the instructions over, you know, there is a few things you should know about using any of these type of devices, just to prevent any kind of, you know, problem happening, whatever. But yeah, there it is, fully charged before use. And of course we have the usual flashlight. It seems like everybody puts a flashlight on these things. This one's kind of nice because there's the uh, charge for taking 15 uh, amps, or oh, sorry, 15 volt, 10 amp surface off of this to a uh, cigarette lighter type plug, which means you could run, you know, some accessories or something off of it. And of course they say fully charged before use. So yeah, don't, don't, don't think it's not all charged. It is. It's fully charged before it came out of the factory. And therefore it's, it, you could just immediately use it before even plugging or charging it in. And there's our plug for, you know, the uh, booster cables to plug into. And there's the flashlight. You also have uh, a couple of different USB ports. And again, you could uh, charge your phone or something like that. You've got the USB-C plus the, uh, the old style, it's now old style USB on here. And like I said, and the flashlight. So this is a nice, like I said, nice quality item. And then the power switch, which you almost can't find because there it is right there. And when you hit that, it's gonna tell you, yep, it says it's fully charged. It's also ready right now to uh, boost a car or a tractor or motorcycle, RV, anything, a boat, you know, anything that's been sitting up over winter, this is kind of a nice little item. You just, you know, bring this with you to wherever you're, you know, doing something to start something up and you have all this power right here. And this thing is rated for some serious power. Now, let's see if we can't figure out how to get the flashlight on this thing. I'm just, it's an LED flashlight, which is kind of cool. Let's see if that'll, yep, there it is. And there's the flashlight. The flashlight is pretty strong. I mean, I've got studio lighting in here, and look at that. You can you can actually see that flashlight. And that's kind of a handy, that's a darn handy thing to have too. And you have strobe. And let's see, we'll hold the button again and stop the flashlight. Now we're still in the boost mode, so we could plug the boosters in and say charge, charge something. So it's nice, and it all comes in this little, you know, it's, it's kind of a well-built heavy case that you could store this in in the back of the car or whatever, RV, you know, and carry this with you so you have that much power with you on hand uh, to charge your cell phone, run it, you could run the laptop or probably off of this thing. You know, you can do all kinds of stuff with these USBs and USB-C ports these days. And it's just a nice, it's a good heavy package. So you know, you know, this thing is seriously gonna hold some charge until you need it to crank something up. So this is the part that blows my mind. The peak current can be up to 4,000 amps, technically. Uh, a starting current, for example, in the first three seconds, like 800 amps. Uh, within five seconds, it's 500 amps. So obviously it's gonna swoop down, it's gonna chart down a little bit. But look at the, you know, almost a 100 watt hour system in your hand right there. That is an incredible amount of, that's a lot of power in my hand right now. You know, oh, I can feel it, you know. <laughs> but, but that is a lot of power. And it's a good quality item, Gulu has been around for a while, but they have a great brand name here. You know, this is not just uh, some off the wall outfit. This is the Gulu, you know, it's the real deal. Well guys, I'm outside and uh, you already know the deal here. I, I don't have, I've got a dead car here. Well, Jeep that has a dead battery. So that seems like this will be the stress test of stress tests. So let's go over to the uh, dead battery situation here and hook up Gulu and just see what we've got. Yeah. This ought to be fun. So, first thing we need to do is figure out who's who's positive. Well, see the red cable here? So that's that's definitely positive. So let's get that hooked on there. And then we'll do the ground. Yep. Oh yeah. I think the system is on. And all we gotta do now is Okay, so now the green light is on steady and let's Okay, we're back in the shop, and 
Sorry about the audio. It was done with a cell phone in hand while I tried to uh, jump that car. That car hasn't been run in four or five months ever since the last time I started it, and we already know the battery's dead, so I thought this would be a good stress test for any of these uh, jumper starter packs that uh, are out there. We've got a great discount code from Gulu for buying these things. So if you're thinking about it and it's springtime and you have any of that equipment I mentioned, like motorcycles, RVs, uh, boats, cars, trucks, planes, and whatever, and lawnmowers. Oh, good old riding lawnmowers. The, they're always dead in the spring, right? The batteries are always, you know, so this is something to just ease the pain a little bit. Just walk up, put it on, start up whatever it is you need to run, get it running, and carry this thing for camping and stuff like that. Super handy. And it comes with lots of nice little accessory plugs to, you know, charge stuff up with. I uh, want to thank Gulu for sending this over to me so I could show it and share it with you guys because uh, since I've had these kind of uh, spring problems, <laughs> this thing has answered the, the question or the problem and said, okay, this is all you got to do. Just throw this on, start it up. Uh, the Jeep battery's been dead for probably a couple years now, and it doesn't matter because I have one of these, and I can just start the Jeep up anytime I want to move it around, which I do, you know. And uh, so it was like, rather than go buy a battery right now, I'll just keep using these for the time being until I'm ready to, say, put the Jeep on the road or something, and, and then, yeah, I'll go get a good battery. But for the time being, I can always crank it up with one of these whenever I need to. Uh, Let's see what else we got going about. Tomorrow, I'm hoping we'll see if we can't get another video out tomorrow because uh, we've just got so much stuff. We've been uh, overwhelmed in the last few weeks. It's been getting kind of crazy. And I really want to get back to my personal projects like my TV cabinet. Uh, I have kind of semi finished it for the time being. So we might uh, do an episode on that. I'd also like to do a fun episode because I have been taking some pictures around the areas of some of the tools and some of the table saws that I've been running into and going, oh man, this 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 be good stuff for the show. <laughs> but in the meantime, uh, I want to thank everybody for uh, watching Coffee and Tools. Please like, share, and subscribe, and check out the description below for a coupon to get a discount for the Gulu, the Power Pack. You know, yeah, the good one. You know. Meantime, I'm out of here. Hey, over and out. Mm.